Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, patch 4.3, main scenario plot. Gone like the morning dew, it's time to continue on our main plot. We probably would have been a bit further ahead, but we pissed around with the Enclave, didn't we? It seems Tessu has gone unrecognized as far, but can we help us if, some, if someone catches a clear view of her face? Oh, I must find her before that happens. What, what are you going to do? You know, like, what, are you just going to hide her away in your castle for, like, forever? What are you... That's, it's ridiculous. The responsibility of her disappearance for all of this lies with me, but I would ask for your aid, nevertheless. We your service, Lord Hian. Now, now, as before, let us make the crossing and begin our search. Uh, you go on ahead. Someone should let Yugiri know. Know what we've learned. I'll join you on the other side. Sure. We have no way of knowing where Tessu is headed, so we so we had best divide our focus. I'll take Katsukari and the, the surroundings. Alphano, if you would take the road to the Castrum Flamens. Should I forgive me, but I'd ask you if if you would investigate the residence of Yukiza, Yukiza Manor. One of the Namazu may have seen her. In, if everyone is in agreement, let us board the, the skiff and hope that the Kami smile upon our efforts. Sure. Quest accepted. Off we go. To Yangsha. I mean, she's just she's gone to get some fruit. We already know exactly where she's gone. She's just gone to get fruit. What is happening here? What the hell is this? This red chocobo nightmare. Do you reckon this is quest related? I'm just like starting to help out, but this is actually quest related. Yeah, it probably is. I'll leave that to them. I don't want to actually accidentally pull something and then run away. Well, I'm going to go around the front. That's irritating. I should have got. I should have choked about it. It's too late now. Something, Namazu. Hey, Gosh, Gosan. Welcome to the Nam to the yes Yakuza Manor. Yes, yes. Mm, if there's anything you care to know, you only need mm, a pale-skinned woman. Mm, I've seen no such traveler. I'm sorry to say. Most sorry. Scaly-skinned Namazu are the only other. On the other hand, we have in abundance. Hmm, thanks, buddy. That's where Namzu quest is, by the way. Well, actually, it starts in the Asian step, but... Uh, yo, Gyoku. Hmm, are usually pale skin. Yes, yes, I saw the woman on, on the way back from the fishing trip. She had just crossed the swallows east of here. She's headed in a northeastly direction. The most, the most part of her steps did not seem certain. If you hurry, you might still catch her. Thanks, thanks, Geoku. All right, we need to go. Where's she at? She's over the river. Of course she is. That's fine. We'll fly. We'll fly. So okay, so let's let's talk about uh, talk about job changes, right? So I main samurai. You guys know I am a samurai a main. Now. The samurai buffs that we were talking about and the community themselves got quite excited about. Uh, you see no sign of Yusetsu in the north. Perhaps it's further off. It's the northeast. Okay, maybe she's further off. So, we got like five skills that got uh, potency increases of 20. So, just 20 potency increase, uh, which is kind of annoying. Uh, it's I don't think it's enough. I think it... it I mean, I'll take it. I'll take 20, 20 potency. Uh, 20 potency to Jimpu, Shifu, Giko, uh, Kasha, and uh, Hirokake. So, like, I'll take it. Uh, the, I'll, I'll take the 20. That's fine. But it it's not very exciting. It's not very exciting potency whatsoever. Uh, third Eye, uh, which is this skill here, uh, now does 10%. Uh, damage reduction when hit and not 5% which is 
which is nice. I, I like having an extra 5% damage reduction. That's pretty fucking cool. It's decent mitigation. Um, however, uh, Third Eye is slightly irritating to me in the fact that it doesn't last long enough. I would like it to last fi 5 seconds. That would be better. Because it's just a little bit of an irritation. So, oops, I accidentally hit the thing. Sorry. Uh, I'll show you guys what I mean, right? So it's like halfway through the animation, the thing kicks in. So it's not at the end of the animation, and it's and your defense is not uh, at the beginning of it either. Uh, your Sitsu is nowhere to be seen, but lying ground short distance north. Okay, let's head north then. So look, if you use this, you see there, halfway through the animation, third eye is activated, and it's for three seconds. So if you're literally about to get hit and you press that button, you get hit before the buff activates. And if you activate it in time for an attack, you need to time it quite well. I really wish that it was about 5 seconds, or, or if it just activated the second I pressed third eye. If it just activated the second I pressed third eye, that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, that was my main problem with third eye. However, right, so now Merciful Eyes, which is over here, now gets reduces enmity by 20%, uh, which is our enmity reduction skill that Samurais have been asking for for a long, long time. And it's nice that we finally got it. However, to use Merciful Eyes, I need to get hit with Third Eye. Now, the problem is, if we're in a raid, I should not be getting hit unless it's room-wide damage. Okay, that's the only time I'll be using Third Eye, because it's room-wide. I won't be using it for normal mechanics because I won't be getting hit by normal mechanics. Or at least I shouldn't be getting hit by normal mechanics. Now, the problem with that is that I can't reduce my enmity. So if there's a long gap between room wide, I can't reduce my enmity. So I might take it off of my tank unless I, so unless I pur either purposely get hit or I've already taken it and it's too late. It's like a, oh fuck, I fucked it up button, then do it. So this Merciful Eyes doesn't really help me with that matter. It doesn't, it doesn't allow me to bring my aggro down ahead of time, is what, is what I'm complaining about. I would like it to be able to do it ahead of time and so that I never pull hate, you know? So it's just like I have to do it on every room wide. It's like I need to lower it. That's a hat. Did the residents of Nami find her? Sup, Ian? Oh, you Giri, you made it. Strife, before you ask, our search for Kirsty has and the surroundings have yielded exactly naught. Save this chance the reunion with you, I suppose. Mistress Elise has gone to assist her brother in the castrum. It was she who informed me of the situation. I joined Lord Hian shortly thereafter. How did you fare at the Yamazu Manor? Any sightings? My well, missing guest. Yeah. So Yamazu found her. Told her heading here. I found a hat. Towards Nami. By the Kami of the villagers recognize her. It won't end too well. We must hurry. To, we must hurry. Yugiri, I will check check the pades. Oh, the village square is yours. So he's going to go check the uh, like the the rice paddies. All right, I shall go check the thing. She's gone for a fruit. This we already know. Told you. Kami, save us! Her spirit has returned! She's back from the dead to seek her revenge! Oh dear. <laughs> Sup, doggo? Late here. It can't be. 
She couldn't have survived. What did I... What did I do? As if you don't know! Good people of Namai, be at ease, I pray you. You have naught to fear. My lord, forgive me, but what is that monster doing here? They told us she was dead. I too was surprised to learn of her survival. Nor even the new I would have you. Twas I who cut her down, I who left her to her fate. But it would seem the Kami had other plans. By some miracle, both she and Gosetsu were spared when the keep collapsed, though Yotsugi's preservation came at the cost of her memory. You're saying she's forgotten? Forgotten everything she's done? Lies! Lies, my lord! She would say anything to escape punishment! What does it matter? We have not forgotten her crimes, and we demand justice! I beg of you, Lord Hien, draw your blade and rid us of this canker! Canker? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what I saw there, it's all true. <laughs> what does canker mean? I want to Google it. Supposed to forgive you. Here, there's no need to cry. Yeah, little girl, I knew you'd do it. You're a good girl. Good job. Can't you see how scared she is? How can you be scared of her? She's not the same. Until such time as her memories return, this woman shall be known as Tsuyu and treated as a citizen of Doma. Okay, also, by the way, guys, so, okay, I'm just going to interrupt this cutscene real, real quick. So Kanka, right, is a destructive fungal disease of apple and other trees as it results in the damage to the bark. That's what Kanka means, if you're interested. I will, however, see that she is watched at all times. Rest assured that there will be no more unannounced visits to the village. As your lord, I ask that you leave her fate in my hands. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. It's a bit ominous, isn't it? With just the rain and the wind. It's good, that's good stuff. Alright, Donzo steak. Correct here. I mean, we're actually going to fucking use this garbage. I mean, that's actually pretty good. But <laughs> we ain't going to use this shit, so whatever. We'll just sell it. So, the fruits of her labor. 
Ah, that would have been better avoided. But at least it did not end in bloodshed. And judging by Tessu's reaction, she remains oblivious to the events of her former life. There was no, well, not uh, completely oblivious, I would say. There was no escape attempt. No. No. It seems it was an offhand request of Gusetsu which brought her to, to Nami. She came in search of a pestilence. <laughs> uh, and they say fruit is good for your health. I do hope Kosetsu finds the taste to his liking. Well, we've certainly taken a long way around, but let's continue on to the Castrum Femmes and meeting with the ambassador. And Alphenard and Lee should still be there conducting their search. Holy shit. That was a close one. Good job that little girl was available with a with a fruit on hand. Oh boy. That was quite the close one. So uh, okay, so we can we can go through a few of the others uh, the other job actions if you guys want. So monk, they got purification, reduces half the enmity, which is massively better to merciful eyes, in my opinion. Uh, which way are we going? We go this way, yeah. EXP bonus. That's nice. Uh, Brotherhood also grants the effect of Brotherhood and Meditative Brotherhood to all nearby party members, which means they can receive multiple stacks of Meditative Brotherhood. So that's nice as well. Uh, basically, it only really matters if there's two monks on your in your comp if that's a problem. And Rogue uh, hide. It will no longer dispel the effect of hide when using sprint. That's quite nice, I guess. I think it's more for uh, deep dungeon than anything else, so that you can scout shit out without getting caught. What's up, Zeno lover? What a pleasure it is to see you once more, Lord Hier. Not to mention my dear sister. A pleasure to see you too, Ambassador. Forgive us our late arrival. You have our people aboard the airship? Exactly as agreed. We would leave you in no doubt as to the purity of our intentions. I dare say it was the self-same spirit of cooperation which prompted you to bring Yotsu here today. Indeed. Before excluding her from the exchange, I thought it only fair that you see her condition for yourself. Physically, she is in fine health, but her mind is unchanged. So I see. But all need not necessarily be lost. In anticipation of this tragic turn of events, I took the liberty of inviting some special guests. Special guests, huh? You're ready with your sword here. You might have to kill a few of these guys. Who's that? Ah, Yotsuyu. Oh. You look well. Ashley's father. Is this the adopted father or is this the actual father? Beloved parents, does not the sight of them bring back sweet childhood memories?
Cosetsu. I have to take this to Cosetsu. Surprise was not sufficient. You needn't glare at me so, Lord Hira. I merely did what any loving son would do for his family. Lest you doubt, I am content to leave the acting viceroy in your care. Pray, treat her as you would any daughter of Dora. Got a mood on it. Do not grow too fond That's important. of this place, dear sister. You will come back to us ere long. We continue with the exchange as planned. Very good. The structure across the river should serve our needs. We shall await you there with the conscripts. If you would bring your captive. This all seems a bit Agreed. too fucked up for me. Then, it's not going to go right. Gonna, well, we already know that there's a trial in the main scenario, so... What are those containers? Why are they in the shot? Are they relevant? Or is that just part of the environment? I knew better than to trust the Ashi. That was a dirty trick. Still, unpleasant as it was, we have at least put a matter to Tessu's future for the rest. We have sent her back to the enclave with Yugiri to give Gosetsu his precious persimmon. Come, let's follow them. Okay, sure, let's head back. You have a look. You have that look, Alphino. What is it? Oh, nothing of consequence. Most like we can discuss it upon our return. The fact that this is all bullshit. And they're gonna sacrifice all those people to fucking summon something. What's up, Ian? We should go pay a visit to Gosetsu and reassure him about Tessu's fate. He will want to know the Empire has finally relinquished her claim on her. Sure. A lot of voiced cutscenes. I like this. It's good. Every cutscene in Final Fantasy's main scenario should be voiced, in my opinion. There's no reason they can't voice it all. If the failing MMO of fucking Elder Scrolls Online can voice everything, these guys can voice everything. Square Enix can pay for it. Spoke not a word. They sat and peer some food she brought them. She then claimed weariness and retired to her chamber. Tell me, what happened to upset her so? The ambassador arranged a surprise reunion with her foster parents in a skyward attempt to yeah, yeah, restore yeah. what seemed to her sense. So are her actual parents, her real parents, dead? Because they got rid of her, right? They sold her or something. So this, so this is just the foster parents. Did they die? They might have died. And then the foster parents sold her? That might have been the case. I can't quite remember. I think her parents died. And then her foster parents eventually sold her to like a to a brothel or something. It was plain their presence caused her great distress. But she seemed otherwise unaffected. Yotsuyu was, was treated as a child, was she not? 
It was a cruel trick to use her tormentors like that, knowing the pain it could cause. Asahi less and less. Be that as it may, he has agreed to allow Yotsu to remain with us in Dom. Our primary concern now is to hand over the prisoners without incident. There was one other detail at the meeting which caught my attention. I assume you all noticed the rather suspect crates within the castrum. The Imperials were quick to retrieve them afterwards, but I wonder. The crates were were of importance. Out with it, brother. You fear they might contain bombs or war machines. If the ambassador wants well, How have we not completely stripped the castrum of all its resources? No, assassination is not his intent. But we should be on our guard for other acts of treachery. My lord, forgive me, but the lady yachts to you. She's gone. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> gone? I beg your pardon, my lord, but I was certain she'd fallen asleep. No, no, the responsibility is mine. It was I who gave her a room instead of a cell. She may simply have wandered outside. We will organize search parties. Might I call upon your assistance? Yeah, sure, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's search for her once again. You stay in bed, Kazetsu. I suspect you're going to do something stupid and get yourself killed. Hello? Who's saying help? Who needs it? Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> That's actually really not good, is it? Somebody. How you doing? Help me. Eh. I'm not sure I want to. Hang on. I'm having a echo fit. Give me a sec. What mid? After what I did to him, who's there? Why are they even here? <gasps> oh, it's you. What are you doing out here in the dark? Oh, uh, I suppose I guess they're guests, right? This is the old lady, is it? When the soldiers dragged us back to Doma, you were the last person I expected to see. You're the bane of our existence, Yotsuyu! A font of misery! You couldn't even do us the simple courtesy of dying, could you? Oh no! You had to live and taint us with the shame of your failure! We had a perfect life in the capital, and now they're making us wallow in this muddy ruin like common swine! I don't deserve this! No, 
now, now, dear, that will do. There seems little point in berating the girl when she scarcely remembers her own name. Our time would be better spent contemplating how we're to survive this unhappy predicament. your looks at least. I suspect you'd fetch a handsome price with the right buyer. <laughs> Maybe enough to get us to Dubai and start a new business. You gonna sell her again? <laughs> ah, my beloved no sooner do I wake from gentle slumber than the world returns in all its cruelty. Yes, this is how it always was. How it was meant to be. Very well. If I cannot escape my nature, then I shall embrace it. the very depths I have sunk, my soul steeped in spite and rotten to the core. The self-righteous hide behind justice, but I need no such mask. Father, mother, was it not you who lured me into this madness? Who taught me the truth of this miserable world? For years I knew naught but the taste of pain and humiliation. But the time has come to save my vengeance against them. Against all of them. And it begins. With you! Yatsuyo! <laughs> I mean, if you weren't such a bitch, she probably wouldn't have done that. Not that I'm defending the fact that she's got a bit psycho, but just saying. Oh, really? <laughs> this guy's fucked up too. Brother dearest, what a surprise. So is the only reason he's a samurai and he uses a katana is because uh, he's like in love with Zenos and Zenos uses katanas? Your dagger yet drips with their blood and you presume to judge me? To be frank. I didn't think you had the strength to slay them so cleanly. A single thrust each. I'm impressed. But surely you can't be satisfied with murdering a pair of doddering elders. You yearn for a deeper vengeance and the power to see it through. Oh dear. Oh, have you died now? I don't want to die. Tough shit. What do I get for saving you? So, Any sign of her? Uh oh, uh this looks awkward. Uh I didn't do this here. Just so you know. What happened here? It's not me. I didn't do it. It was your head too. She freaked out a little bit. Killed him. I knew what would happen if she recovered. And still, I did nothing. You say she left with her brother? Uh, I believe so. 
Whatever he wants with her, he is willing to pay for it with his parents' lives. But this is neither the time nor the place. We must gather the others. Okay. They are dead. <laughs> oh dear. Sub here. We've recovered the <laughs> numerous remains. We've recovered the Nemo's remains and they will hold a ceremony, a ceremony and a nod. <sighs> With that, I had never again set foot in Doma. I broke the news to Cassetti myself. He was quiet. I think it's best that he be allowed some time alone with his thoughts. Yeah, that's probably good. Do well. Okay, well next time we're going to do Constrips and Congregations. With grade 2 Infusion of Strength. I don't need those. It's, uh, it's fine. We can give them to Domo the Enclave. They'll probably use them, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. That was a really long episode. That was like long cutscene after long cutscene. There's going to be a lot of those. This is the end of the Doma storyline. So thank you guys so much. As always, leave a like and a comment down below. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.